Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful toy that I managed to buy second hand because they don't make them anymore. Is the JXD5110B, I think. And this one has a problem. I got it very cheap. I got it for uh, like, uh, I don't know, uh, 30, 40 dollars. And this is because this little thing has a problem. It doesn't start correctly. It shows the battery as full, uh, it doesn't charge and it still doesn't work when you start it up. So, I assumed it's a problem with the battery. I hope I took the right uh, decision in buying this one. I hope, I think it's fixable. I also bought a spare battery. And today we're going to uh, talk about this one, present it, change the battery and see what happens next. Before we start, take a look at the description below because it has a clickable playlist that takes you to key sections of this video. I usually put this kind of playlist in my videos. Let's start with opening it up to reach the suspect battery. I found three screws out of four because, well, used product. Best place to pry this open is at one of the top buttons. Then just continue along the line. The battery was seriously swollen and that clearly showed what the problem was. Nothing left but to remove it and place the new one. Oh, and yeah, I got curious and of course I did cut open the battery to see what was the inside of it like. You'll see it later in this video. Replacing it was a breeze, nothing to do much but solder in the new battery using my portable USB iron that I also found on AliExpress. I'm also preparing the old battery for operation by consuming all the power left in it. This way I minimize the potential difference and also the risk of something igniting. Well, the first thing we can say about this is that I think it was meant for stereo because uh, there are two placeholders for uh, speakers, only one is used and also we have uh, a soldering port right here that could accommodate the, uh, the second speaker but I'm wondering then it should have a larger wire Right, because you would need to close this off and open it, and yeah, well, but it's possible. Okay, so <coughs> the battery is good. Now we just need to make it stick, and we'll conveniently use some tape. Think about that. Should be enough. Okay. So let's just put in some double-sided uh, sticky tape. And let's hope it actually sticks. Ah, well, whatever. Close enough. Okay. Uh, let's try the tip of this is now cold so don't worry about it and that works okay so sticky tape do your stuff oh there's another port here I think you can use that to actually access the uh, microcontroller and to I don't know maybe do some uh, advanced programming All right. but anyway I think that's it another quick look we have a port for the screen right here and I recommend actually putting something against these two um, pads because the only thing that's holding them is the soldering and uh, well, I can feel the move, and in time I think they get, they can get destroyed, so... Okay, time to close it up. And just turn it on. And yes, the battery works and it allows the Android to fire up. We'll now do a bit of surgery on the old battery, you know, for science and curious people. Well, if you're about to do something stupid, at least do it as safe as possible. So I'm wearing some gloves, a mask, 
because I'm expecting this to produce gas. Also, I'll be doing this outside because it produces gas. So I don't encourage you to do this. Try not to do it. I'll do it for you. I'll cut this one open and see what happens. Yeah, so. When you will assemble a scalpel blade onto the handle, keep in mind it's better to use some pliers instead of your fingers. That's not what I did here, but do take my advice. Ok, so the idea is to cut open the uh, outer layer, allow the gas to exit and then uh, cut the rest of it and unfold the, um, uh, the chemical foil. The black thing you see there is lithium coated over a metallic foil. The anode of the battery is the copper strip at the end of this winded up battery and the cathode is made of aluminium. The oversimplified idea is that when you charge the battery you push the electrons in one direction, stack them there and when discharging the electrons flow back. Ok, so why do I like this so much? Well, first of all it feels good, you know, it's, it doesn't feel like a cheap console. It has good plastic, uh, the weight is okay, and uh, yeah, it feels feels great. The buttons feel great, you know, just work, work very well. Yeah, so also uh, ports. It has an HDMI port, which means you can take the image out on your uh, TV. It's a small HDMI. I think it's a mini HDMI port. Uh, we also have. Headphones, two, twice, why? Uh, I don't know, this must, should be a mistake. I think one of them is the actual uh, um, headphones port and the other one should be a sort of archaic uh, video out. I'm guessing, oh, I'll, I'll test this. Uh, yeah, reset and uh, start buttons, uh, power in, but you can also charge from the USB and this USB is actually very, very interesting because because you can combine it with this and what the, that does I'll show you later you can plug in a USB hub right here and connect the keyboard, the mouse, uh, Bluetooth, uh, whatever you want so yeah that works you can have a mouse on this one I'll show you later so let's uh, see the menu a bit slow on response yeah okay I'll do this without the gloves because it's better for the touch screen the touch screen feels good I mean really really good uh, responds fast uh, what you have is the back button the home button that actually takes you right here uh, the application uh, circling uh, alt tab thingy which allows you to move from one application open application to another or to actually close the applications, which I'm doing now. This, uh, I don't know what it's called, it's sort of a virtual uh, um, joystick thingy. Well, but basically what it does, you put the stuff on uh, the overlay uh, of your Android game, you know, uh, and you can actually use these buttons on the console, you know, to, to have the clicks and all that, which is great in my opinion because you can play all those games without the touch screen stupid controls. You can actually have a feedback, you know, a classical button pressing feedback, so that's great. Okay, how do I get out of this one? Oh, yeah, you can only close by this. Okay, and this hides 
this current bar, you know. So, uh, yeah, orientation. You have all four orientation modes enabled. You can have it like this. You can even have it like this. I don't know why. How would you play with it like this? But okay, like this, and back where we started. Okay. Uh, let's see applications. Let's go to settings and see what we have there. I can see my reflection, but that's fine. I hope you can also see what's on the screen. I'm sorry. I hope this looks okay. Okay, we have the Wi-Fi because yeah, it has Wi-Fi, which is brilliant. Ethernet, which I have no clue what it does because I don't have any Ethernet ports, but I'm assuming it's an operating system thing. Okay, uh, I have um, data usage, which yeah means how much I use the internet and on what. Of course, I've been listening to some music on this one. Uh, let's see more, 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 more. Airplane mode, VPN. Yeah, okay, okay. A portable hotspot, so I can basically... Wait a minute! Wait a minute! If if I can make a hotspot with this one, then it means I should be able to plug some other form of internet aside from the Wi-Fi that I'll be using for the hotspot, so... So this may actually have some meaning. Okay, let's configure the Ethernet. No, we cannot configure the Ethernet. So, this operating system believes it is able to get some LAN connection or maybe GSM connection, but I don't know, so that's that's weird. Okay, more. Uh, portable hotspot, mobile networks, I think that's, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, I think that's the problem. It thinks, the, the Android on this one thinks, uh, this should also have a SIM uh, card thing, but I haven't seen one, so I don't believe there is. So that's that. Okay, HDMI. This allows you to uh, use uh, HDMI with this uh, this console, so you can project your image uh, in uh, 720p and also 180p. Uh, sound, display, storage. Yeah, I got some space. But of course, I haven't put in some um, micro SD card yet. I will. Okay, internal storage. Oh, we have quite some space. We have nearly 5 gigs. Yeah. Battery. Some battery information. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just placed this battery in, so uh, it's slowly discharging. I don't know. I, sh I should do a full uh, load of the battery and see how much does it uh, take. The applications. What are the install applications? Oh, and also I had to update YouTube because otherwise YouTube and uh, Google Play uh, because YouTube wouldn't work. Okay. Location services, security, well, the usual Android stuff you'd expect to find. Backup and reset. My Google account. Date and time. Oh, okay, accessibility. Oh, developer options, which is good. You have developer options. Well, a lot of developer options on this one. Well, let's just enable that just for hell. And the about that says that this is the S510B with Android 411. Uh, kernel version, uh, yeah, okay, 308. Yeah, okay, you have some uh, some some uh, information here. So we also have uh, application, app installer, browser. You can like, go on the internet and browse stuff. Okay, so let's just search for something. I don't know. Well, mm, custom ROM. Or JXD five one one zero and go. So yeah, it works. Yeah, produces a bunch of. Uh, so that was the browser. Oh, you can also um, go back, I guess. Okay, have the calculator that makes a sound. That was unexpected. Was it? Hmm, I don't know what that was. 
we have a calendar, camera, and uh, well, camera, camera on the game console. I don't know, whatever. I think you can take some pictures with it. It's a, uh, it's a what? It's a. Uh, I can't see. Maybe you can see. It's uh, it's a camera. Well, I don't know how many megapixels or pixels or whatever. You have the clock. Ooh, looks dramatic. And then downloads, email, file browser. Of course, not much to browse. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the place to go when you put uh, this thing in. And you put an USB um, stick here. Yeah, you can browse it and get your information there. Oh, and by the way, let me use these as well. I can use the arrows, you know, and move around. Uh, I think this X is intuitively enough the back or close button. So if I, I start the file browser, I will start it with this, right? Yeah, and close it <coughs> with this. Sorry. Uh, flash player, gallery, game X, the thing that doesn't work. Okay, what's this? Gravity calibration utility. Okay, let's see this one. What does it do? Yeah, may it makes it. Uh, yeah, okay, level. Yeah, or whatever. Okay, Google Plus, Google Settings, Google, Google Mail, and you have the first emulator. They are scattered around here. The emulators you can. Uh... <coughs> Oops, I think I exited. Uh, you can. Um open the emulators up but you actually need to place some files there otherwise it won't work yes I am quite certain thank you okay uh, HDMI switch thingy that you know turns into oh you can also have 480p I lied to you you also have this 480p mode of the HDMI not only those two for whatever reasons you would need that main emulator now let's take a look at that one. Identical, nothing more. Yes, I'm also sure. Maps, uh, uh, Mega Drive. Yeah, I think this is the Mega Drive. Movie player, music, settings. I showed you those. Search. What do I search here? Ah, Google search. Whatever. Play Store that you need to update as soon as you reset this. Photos, NES emulator. N64 emulator, I think this is the same, yeah, looks the same. Super user, talk, voice search, YouTube, and we have some widgets we can place around, and uh, quite a few widgets, and I think that's about it. So it's bare bone at this moment, I have nothing on it. Uh, you could also install some... Oh, let's go ahead and try and install an Android game. Let's see if it works on this six-year-old console. I'll, I'll go hard on it. I'll, I'll install... Oh, I have to go back now. Apps. I'll try to install a, a powerful game or something like it and see if I can um, play it. Yeah, okay. First blood, start mission. Okay, drag to aim. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Here's my target. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. At some point, it. it, it yeah. And this, I nearly missed him. That's weird. That sounds, uh, that looks like uh, Sniper Elite, I think. They had the same bullet time thingy there. Uh, this is the charger. Uh, it connects here this plug and it provides what provides two amps not bad okay yeah that's good two amps is good it's like 10 watts so currently charging I hope because I replaced the battery and uh, who knows who knows but I think I'm charging you know what I think I'll also 
I'll do something else. I'll just dis uh, discharge this completely and then I'll see how much current uh, this takes. I think I will then um, use this to charge. So yeah, I'll, I'll do that and get back. You know, I started uh, running out the battery and uh, I noticed that this game actually works better. So I, I second time it works actually decent so yay maybe it finished caching all the stuff I don't know so I'm supposed to kill the target which is red jacket by that I'm assuming the guy wears a red jacket or the girl so who here has a red jacket there you go you have a red jacket okay should I go for a headshot no I'll just kill this guy like this a poof and the bullet leaves and arrives at the destination I wonder if I get more points for headshots okay I'm at about 10% battery going down that's fine that's fine okay this actually yeah, I'm surprised to say that, yeah, this 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 is cool, I can play this game. It's not much of a graphics, you know, it, obviously it looks like GTA 3, in my, in my opinion, you know, the PC game GTA 3, maybe a little bit better, you know, because lights are a bit uh, better, but yeah, still a 3D game, and, oh, oh, this is the guy? Oh, I don't think I have the time. Hey, ah, oh, no, 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 oh, I lost him. Damn it! See, this is what I'm telling you. If you don't pay attention and move fast uh, to these games, so yeah, you you do need a responsive um, tablet for for this kind of uh, fast and pacing games. Let's start, and this time let's try to get him. Yeah, I think ah, you're easy. I think I'll just there you go. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah. My first rifle. Yeah, okay. So, I'm buying my first rifle now. Because I've been shooting with peanuts so far. Mm, it's one of those daily games rewards. Yeah, okay. What happened? Oh, no, no, hate commercials, okay, uh, so yeah, I can buy this hunting rifle, only premium players can buy this weapon, ooh, really, right, okay, so I have a hunting rifle that... Yeah, and I can also buy with diamonds, and I suspect you can buy diamonds for real money. Yeah, okay, I'll just buy this hunting rifle. It's not the gun, it's the it's the guy that fires the gun, you know, so. Plus, I, I don't like paying real money uh, recurrently on games except uh, on EVE Online and uh, uh, World of Warcraft, but those are subscriptions. And on EVE you start at some point you don't even need to pay because you can pay with in-game currency, so that's also fine. So again, missions. Oh, am I uh, am I free to choose? Oh, at some point this gets. Oh, yeah, okay. Start mission. What I need to do? Target sniper. Oh, really? I see a sniper. Hello. Unfortunately for you, I would have to terminate you, but come on. I think I got him. Let's see. 
Yep, I got him. And he lost the gun. Good for you. This battery really holds out. I was expecting it to die already. Because it, uh, it got a bit hot, so... Commercials again, ads. Hate ads. I mentioned that before. Okay, missions again. How's the battery doing? 6%. Why don't you have the good decency to die? Okay, switching back to the game. Oh, I love I can do this with uh, with this console. Yeah, there's something, some happened. Okay, I'll just read the... Oh, really? Huh? Oh, I did that one. Start mission. I'll have to kill some other guy. Poor guy. Jeez. He just went out to live and I just have to kill them. That sucks. I don't want to kill this guy. This guy looks cool. Ah, uh, no, I will. I will refuse to kill you. Oh, he's a thug. Did he say th thug? Then I'll kill you. See, that's what you need. You just need a moral excuse to do stuff everywhere, including in games. So where's the thug? Oh, you're the thug. I'm betting no. Neither of you guys. Where are you? Oh. Where's that pixel? I'm looking for... Yep, there you go. Gotcha. Dude, are you Michael Jacksoning around? We're doing the moonwalk? Okay, I'll kill you too. Yep. Yes, I know. Don't... Yeah, good. I'm level 3 and 4% left. Okay, I will play this game to the death of the battery. Go on, go on. Okay, again, missions. I think this shall be my last mission. What? Oh, another ad? Invisible ad. Okay, missions. Missions. Will be hard without them. Upgrade weapon. Okay. Okay. I can. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, I'll 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 do this upgrade. I can also ammo. I don't think I need ammo. I think I need damage. Wait a minute. If I update this, it also increases the. Height updates the ammo, okay. But I have four, f okay. Muzzle, I don't know if I can afford both. I should be able to afford both. What else? Recommended, okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll get this one, confirm. And also the ammo, confirm. There we go. Now we kick ass and take names. Yeah, any more money? I don't think so. Silencer? Eh, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. Good, uh, we're done here. Okay, so... Start mission. Come on, Barry. Okay. Uh, start. What? All of them? Three men on the rooftop. This sounds like the beginning of a joke. Okay, let's... Let's see. Uh, these guys don't see each other. I'll take this one first. Usually this is what you do. I'm sorry, guy, but yeah. You're done. Reloading. The other guys aren't aware of a thing. Which is weird. There you go. And I think the last one is this guy here. Good night, buddy. And of course, bullet time for the last one. Shown. 
Good. What? This, a thousand coins or whatever? I killed three guys. You give me one thousand for one guy previously. Oh, this is turning into a corporation thing. Okay. So, uh, still battery not... Let's see how the battery does. Come on. Come on. Show me the battery. 2%. Oh boy, you hold out to the last second, right? Okay, missions. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I want to see if I can update some more stuff. Uh, upgrades. Yeah, because... Body. Oh, limit. To the limit. Yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade the body. And also that increases the range and stability, which... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Last mission, this has to be the last mission. Less than 2% of the battery left. Oh, I forgot to map these. I think I should try to map these. I don't have the time now, but uh, I'm not sure if I can. Okay, I'll, I'll... No, 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 no. Horizontal slip at the bottom. I want to... Ah, I lost it. I don't know how to bring it back. Bring it back. There was a button to bring that back. Oh well. Anyway. Start mission. So what? Target. Hostage taker? Yeah. Of course. And I have to be precise. 5x. Okay, Mr. Hostage. Mrs. Hostage. Good night. Going, 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 going. Exactly where I should have uh, uh, shot in the gun, so that it explodes in the head of the victim. Smart, yeah, very smart. Whatever. N not now. Just leave me alone. Next. Okay. Come on, Barry. I'll lose this opportunity. Thank you. Upgrades. Another commercial will add, and yeah, it's invisible. I don't know why, but it's it's on top. If I click this, I close it. Yeah. Okay. Upgrades. I like upgrades. Grip. I don't have the money for that. Scope. Neither. Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. I hate reloading after each shot. So, yeah, confirm, yeah, back, yes, power off, so, it died, now I'll charge and see uh, what it draws. So, the concept is simple, I'm calculating the battery capacity by measuring how much watts are spent on a full charge. This USB tester is doing just that. The cool thing about this specific USB tester is that it relays the real-time measured data to my phone through Bluetooth. It's easy then to output a CSV file and keep a very clear charging graph. As soon as the console is plugged in for charging, the tester starts sending data. So the charging is done, uh, this charged in approximately, ooh that's a weird charging uh, graph, okay so this charged in about 1000 seconds so I guess that's almost 3 hours, less I'm 2 and a half, almost 3, so this uh, ate up one uh, 1800 milliamps at 5 volts so with a bit of math we have let's say 1800 multiplied by 5 which equals 9000 divided by 3.7 is roughly 243 something so let's say it's around 2400 uh, milliamps. Yeah, that's a good capacity. That's uh, the same as the old battery, so it's, it's fine. 
Now we are ready to load this thing up with some games. You can visit emulator.games for a quite extensive list of games you can download for all sorts of consoles. The biggest problem I had was to figure out where should the games be copied. I was expecting a directory structure categorized by console name and the games would neatly be packed each in their own folder. No. Basically you have to dump all games in the games folder, either on the device's memory or onto the SD card. Obviously I choose the SD card. You can put here all games for all consoles that this device recognizes, including the APK games for Android. The images folder is very useful. It allows you to put in a custom icon for a specific game. The only thing you need to do is create a PNG. Give it the exact name as the game for which you want to make it available, except for the file extension of course, and copy it here. Next time you open GameX, you'll see your icon there. So, with some games loaded up, in what follows I will show you how to set up this as a home entertainment console, where you'll be able to also use keyboard, mouse and gamepads to control this. It's a neat idea and it works relatively nice. Use an already built-in HDMI to Mini HDMI cable, avoid adapters as you risk damaging your Mini HDMI port on the console. So for some final notes. I did have problems with PS1 games, more than half of what I tried don't work on this emulator, also I wasn't able to make any MAME game work and the Sega Genesis games do lag a bit. The rest of the emulators however work decently. Notice that some games run a bit better when played on console directly as opposed to on the TV maybe from the HDMI broadcasting application, maybe there's a problem there. Overall my impression of this game console is a nice one. It is superior to most other attempts of handhelds I've seen so far and the price is, well, was quite cheap. Also, the fact that the emulators come with native button support makes this quite different from regular Android based emulators that basically put some overlay buttons on the screen and that's it. Downside is uh, JXD aren't produced any longer and the support for them is also on the ground. If you manage to find one of these at a moderate price you might want to take it and set it up. Hopefully this video can also guide you to that. Well, that's about it for me chatting around, I'll let you roll with some gameplay. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also take a look at the comment section below, maybe I missed something and you want to ask me about it, or just see what others have to say. Thanks for watching!